Once upon a time there was a pride of lions living on the African savanna. The head of the pride was a strong, wise male lion named Sahasi. He had a beautiful mate named Zara, and together they had three energetic cubs, two females named Amira and Kioni, and one male named Jabari. Jabari was the most adventurous of the three cubs. He loved exploring the savanna, chasing butterflies, and wrestling with his sisters. One day, when the cubs were about a year old, Jabari decided to wander farther from the pride than he was supposed to. Jabari crept away from his mother's watchful gaze and headed towards a small forest nearby. He was curious what he could find there. As Jabari entered the shady forest, the trees blocked the hot sun and made it cooler. Jabari liked this new place, there were so many interesting smells and sounds here. He peered between the trees and saw a family of monkeys chattering as they swung from branch to branch. Jabari followed the monkeys deeper into the forest. He was having so much fun exploring that he didn't notice how far he had wandered. Suddenly, Jabari realized everything was unfamiliar. He was lost. Jabari began to panic. The forest sounds seemed louder and scarier now. Jabari turned in circles, trying to find the way back home, but he didn't recognize any landmarks. Jabari cried out loudly for his mother and father. But the only reply was the chattering of monkeys and squawking of tropical birds in the treetops. Jabari felt tears begin to fall from his eyes. He was scared being lost and alone. Jabari found a large hollow log and crawled inside to hide. Exhausted from fear and walking, Jabari soon fell into a deep sleep, cradled in the old log. Many hours later, Jabari awoke to distant roars. He recognized his parents' voices calling his name. Jabari bounded out of the log and ran towards their roars. He was so relieved to see them. His mother Zara nuzzled and licked him, checking he was okay. His father Sahasi's expression was stern. He warned Jabari to never wander off alone again. It was dangerous for such a young cub. Jabari felt very sorry for making his parents worry. He promised he would listen better from now on. Sahasi told Jabari he was proud of how bravely he survived alone in the forest overnight. But he must stay near the rest of the pride for safety until he was older. When they returned to the pride, Jabari's sisters Amira and Kioni were very happy he was back safely. They all slept cuddled close that night, exhausted from the scary adventure. In the morning, Jabari was back to his playful self, wrestling with his sisters. He had learned his lesson about wandering off. As the weeks passed, Jabari listened to his father's warnings and remained near the adults. He helped the pride hunt antelope and zebra. Under his parents' guidance, Jabari was learning all the skills he would need as an adult lion. One morning, when Jabari was about 18 months old, his father Sahasi approached and said it was time for Jabari's first solo hunt. He was nervous, but Sahasi encouraged him. Jabari crept through the tall golden grass, using all his stealth. Finally he spotted a young antelope grazing alone. Remembering his training, Jabari pounced powerfully and made a quick kill. Jabari dragged his first kill proudly back to the rest of the pride to share. His parents were thrilled and praised his skill. They said he was now ready for his next big challenge, joining the adult males on a patrol to scout their territory borders and guard against intruders. Jabari felt excited and nervous. The very next day, Jabari eagerly joined his father Sahasi and the other large male lions as they set out to patrol their territory. They walked for miles, sent marking bushes and trees along the borders. Finally they reached a tall cliff overlooking a deep river, the end of their territory. Across the river, Jabari spotted movement in the brush. Three strange male lions appeared, growling aggressively. Sahasi roared furious charges at the trespassing lions, warning them away. One lion began to cross the river onto their land. Suddenly Jabari felt a burst of courage. He stood up tall next to his father and let out the loudest, deepest roar he could. The intruding lion quickly turned and swam back across the river, away from their territory. Jabari was thrilled. His mighty roar along with his father's had protected their territory. Sahasi congratulated Jabari, proud he had stood his ground against the strangers. 
Jabari walked back to the Pride Lands feeling like a true Lion Guardian now. When Jabari returned, he told his mother Zara and sisters Amira and Kioni all about his scary but exciting first patrol. That night, the whole happy family cuddled close as they gazed up at the twinkling stars over the savannah. Jabari felt very grateful to be home with his pride. 